Yeah, so this is kind of weird. I'm literally doing this right now in this place just so that I can break some news to you about Affinity. Folks, I called it. I called it 100%. I'll pat myself on the back for this. Two days before Affinity rolled back their prices to their regular amount, they decided to tell us that they are going to be putting out a new upgrade. I called it. Version 2.0 is on the way, right? Not exactly. Let's go. What's going on everybody? My name is Dave Conrad. I'm an artist and designer in Southern California and right now I'm sitting in a very steamy car. In fact, it's so steamy. I'm going to lower this window. It might get a little bit loud because there's a street right back there. That's better. First, let's tackle the idea of like, why am I here? Why am I in the car doing this thing? It's been a busy week. It was my son's birthday yesterday. He does re a lot of extracurricular activities for summer and he's at swim team right now, but I decided I needed to make this video because I finally saw the video that Affinity put out just yesterday. A sneak peek into version 2.0. No, wait, that's wrong. Version 1.10. I'm beginning to wonder that the reason that Affinity hasn't progressed faster with some of these updates is because maybe their engineers don't really know how decimals work. Seriously, how do you go from 1.9 to 1.10? I mean, this is exactly why I could never be a software engineer. Some people inform me that this is actually kind of a common practice. In fact, Apple has done this before, so uh, whatever. The point really is that it's not version 2.0, and after watching their video sneak peek into the new version, I kind of understand why. So there's good news and bad news that comes along with this upgrade and we'll talk about the good news first and I'll tell you about the bad stuff in a second. First good news is this is not going to be a paid upgrade so anybody that just signed up or somebody who signed up at any point you're not going to have to pay for this upgrade so that's a plus. Second and the most substantial news is that this is going to be a major infrastructure upgrade. In their video which was a sneak peek into the version which I'll link to below in the description it's all about rendering and processing power and they're building in extra processing power into all of the apps so that everything can be done within the software. I am sure that at some point, no matter what type of computer you have, no matter if it's the most powerful M1 MacBook or the most least powerful PC that you got from Walmart, you've probably seen render issues where you're moving around within your image and it, it's like it takes a while to redraw. I see this all the time and I've got an M1. It's not a major issue for me, but there are some people that work with thousands and thousands and thousands of layers. If you do any kind of illustration work in Affinity Designer, you know that basically everything that you draw becomes a new layer. And if everything that you draw becomes a new layer and you're doing some super highly detailed stuff, then you can have thousands upon thousands upon thousands of layers. It's kind of bananas nuts, right? But that's just the way it operates. And I'm not, I don't get that. I don't gotta get that myself, but that's how they operate. And of course, all those layers create extra work for the processing unit. And Affinity has kind of struggled with that a little bit. But what they're telling us with this new version, which they're saying might come out around the end of next month, July 2021, rendering is going to be far superior to what we've experienced so far. Like more than exponential great. Like they were rendering images that had like over 600,000 layers and there was no redraw issue, which is, that's pretty phenomenal if you, I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't even, I don't even, I can't even fathom 600,000 layers, but they were processing that no problem. And according to them, the way they've built it is that all of that processing power is within the software. And so it's not going to require any extra hardware to get it to that processing power. That's pretty rad. But why is all of that important? Why is it good? What I believe this is all about is laying down really heavy duty foundation for what they're planning to do the next time around. They've got big plans and in order to make those big plans work, in order to be able to have the processing power to make those things work, they need to work on the infrastructure first. So here they are laying down some really heavy duty infrastructure so that they can go and put some serious work into the additives on top of that. Again, this is speculation on my part, but I believe this is exactly what's gonna happen. And I was right the last time I speculated, so, you know, give me a little credit. <laughs> In the video, they glance over the idea that there are a lot of bug fixes and some other infrastructure changes that they've made. So what I anticipate this 1.10 or 1.10, as they call it, this is all just the framework for what's coming next. The bad news is that we didn't get anything that we actually asked for. Unless, of course, you were asking for more processing power and more rendering capabilities. Well, then you got what you wanted. But this is not version 2.0. And because of that, we're not getting any of the major upgrades that we were looking for. Nothing I talked about in those three videos where I listed my demands for all the different programs. Nothing of that. Nothing in there. Not a single thing in any of those lists is getting tackled. You want to know what? I'm okay with it. I'm okay with it because I feel like I see the writing on the wall. I see exactly what's coming down the pipe. 
when it will come, I have no idea. I believe in my heart of hearts that what they're actually doing is setting up the programs for some really cool stuff to be coming in the near future. Again, fingers crossed, I'm not an insider. I'm just going based on instinct, intuition, and the information that I get provided to me. Oh, and also this video wasn't the video I was supposed to be putting out today. I was actually gonna do another video where it was me talking about all the things that you guys have taught me about Affinity over the last couple of videos, and I was gonna share that, and I will share that uh, Monday. <laughs> so stick around, pay attention, hang out, subscribe if you haven't done so, and if you do subscribe, hit that bell because you don't want to miss that. And uh, while you're doing all that, you know, you know, might as well hit the like button. That'd be kind of cool. But now I got all the work to do because I got to edit this entire video in the next few hours so that I can have it up for you on the time that you're actually watching it. Remember, be good today, be even better tomorrow. See ya.